first impression of Guam High? Well, it's well, you know what, Napoli? Let me tell you my first impression of Guam High. Guam High, Guam High is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful school with a lot of beautiful people, with beautiful talent. You know, I never felt so welcomed in the school. You know, I felt like this is my home because there's so many talented people that love playing music, and I personally love music myself. And I play every day, and it's beautiful. So I like, I love this school. What do you think, Nabu? Took the words right out of my mouth. I was really shocked when I first got here that it was such a small school. My first impression of Guam High was loud, obnoxious children just running around like they ain't got no At the end of it all, it became great. Because I was one of those children just acting obnoxious. Okay, I thought Guam High was full of very handsome people and buff guys and they were all very smart. And the school is small, meaning we're all close friends. My first impression of Guam High School was that the school itself was like really small and I noticed that like everyone was like friends with each other and it seemed like everyone kind of like knew each other already, so that was my first impression that everyone was kind of a knit, close little family. I agree. Um, everyone's pretty nice. I did not enjoy wearing uniforms, but I think everybody does it. We were in cheer together. We were in cheer. Um, everyone's really warm, welcoming, and once you get to know everybody, then there's clicks, but everybody usually gets along. So. My first impression of Bow High was that it was really confusing because the hallways and yeah, I didn't really know anybody, so it was kind of nervous, but it's cool, I know everybody now. My first impression of Guam High was, um, well, I was a little intimidated when I first came here. Um, I was used to going to smaller schools, and so coming here was a little bit different, but um, as time went on, uh, I met new people. Uh, they're really friendly, and I made lots of friends, and I uh, enjoyed my time here. Well, at first I wasn't sure about wanting to go to school here, because it's so small, but my first impression of Guam High was that the whole entire senior class looked like seniors, unlike me. My first impression of Guam High was that it's such a small school and everyone pretty much knows each other. My first impression of Guam High was that it was really, really small, but the people are really nice and accepting. My first impression of Guam High is I thought it was really big and I got lost. Um, my first impression of Guam High School was that it was going to be really lame and I wasn't sure if I was going to like anyone or if I was even going to make friends because I was still caught up on my old school. But now that it's senior year, it's been a pretty good run at Guam High School and it's fun and I liked it. Uh, my first impression of Guam High School was uh, my junior year. I thought it was lame. But now I think it's pretty cool. I got to meet a lot of people, friends with a lot of people. And my freshman year, when I first came in here, like I looked around, I was like, "Who are these people?" Like I, I thought I wouldn't get along with them, but come senior year, and I'm we really close, and we're all family. Okay. My first impression of Guam High was I was a little scared at first, but then eventually I got to know more people, and I. Uh, I stuck with my group of friends and we made it through and now we're done and now we're at the top of the chain and we won! Yeah. Six and ten. Four, five, six. Go one, two, three. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Five.
Flip it. Oh. Alright, I gotta catch it. There you go. I got a thumbs up. <laughs> Right. Let your heart decide. I can open your eyes. Are you tell me this is not a Mally song. Say you wonder by wonder Magic carpet ride a whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no. Oh, where to go? But if we're, we're only dreaming, who you were? Wait, wait, I give you a shout out. Yo, pull on your balls.
baby. Do it. Come on, Stevie. What am I going to miss the most about 2013? So, the thing that I'm going to miss the most about all the seniors is that all of you guys are always so psyched up and you're always so happy and every time I walk in during the morning, you guys just make my day. It hasn't even started yet, so I'm going to miss that the most. Oh, what I'm going to miss the most is just all the people, like all the seniors and how they're all just so friendly and so cool and so chill. Uh, the thing I'm going to miss most about all the seniors is like all the new friends that I made this year and all of us just sitting in the great hall before school starts and just chilling out. And oh, fun. and shout out to our senior paddlers. Thanks for making our season guys. amazing. Miss you guys. And it sucks because all of you guys are leaving and that's like half our team. <laughs> but yeah, we love you guys. I think I'll miss their enthusiasm for learning and their their ability to make connections. And I will definitely miss the little lights that go off when they have that aha moment. You know, when they fit the pieces of the puzzle together and got it, understood the concept really thoroughly, and then made connections with what we're learning here and the outside world. And I think that uh, they're going to be in good shape to go on and be successful. So the thing that I'm going to miss the most about the seniors is probably like the different personalities that they all have here. Like some of them are like really quiet and then some of them are really loud and, and they're just like really fun to be around and without them we're going to be so boring. I think the thing that I'm going to miss most about the senior class is that I had a full class of AP students this year and an awesome senior seminar. Definitely their energy, um, their energy that gave them the ability to uh, lead the cross country and track and field team to the only championship for the school year, so that I'm going to miss. Uh, and the students know who they are. Well, there's you, and you, and you. Quit hiding back there. You know I see you. Are you blushing? Come on, guys. I've been with you your junior year and your senior year. I'm really going to miss the bond that we have and the love that we care and care for each other. Remember what I always tell you every Friday. Party hardy. Get your head on straight. Come back Monday. Peace out. Miss the most about 2013. Well, since so, I don't know all of them because I didn't have them in class, but I'm going to miss seeing them grow because I remember when they were little freshmen still playing when they're with their uh, Legos and Barbie dolls and now they're young men and women. Um, I'm going to miss this year, I'm going to miss my talks with uh, Elijah and, and Zach and, uh, and Marcy and some of the other kids. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, hope, I hope that they come back and tell me stories about their life down the road. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'll miss them. Miss their smiles and stuff like that. This is the high energy and the dynamic interaction that you guys have with each other. Hello, everybody. You know what? This is the most productive seniors. I've been here since 97, William, when we first opened up. And you guys aim high for Guam High. I'm going to miss you all. Um, first of all, I haven't had all students, all seniors this year. But um, what I will miss the most about the seniors I've had um, in my calculus classes um, is the way that they are able to help everybody succeed um, uh, for their AP exam this year. So I believe their average is going to be higher than my previous years that I've had other seniors. Um, and I, I, I do have to mention, um, I've had three, I have three of your seniors for soccer uh, this year. They are Marcy, Martina, and Quincy. And they have a special place in my heart. Spend a lot of hours with them. 
and um, I just want to say good luck and um, come back and say hello if you stop by Guam again. <sighs> There's so much to miss about the class of 2013. There are a lot of people who are really great um, and I have a lot of friends who are leaving, people, students I consider friends because they came in and visited me a lot and I'm going to miss them very, very much. And I got to bond with a lot of people during rock and roll and that was special too. So I have a lot to miss. I am going to miss the vitality of the senior group. I'm going to miss all that creativity, vitality, and all that nice um, laughter and they're just so lively. Okay, I don't think I've met a senior that is dragging their feet across the hallway, pouting, and all those other things that, you know, are not of a senior. But this group is so lively. I'm going to miss all the unique individuals and their characteristics and having role models in the school. I'm going to miss having inside jokes with all of you and high-fiving you guys in the hallway. I will miss everyone's um, energetic smiles, especially Caitlin and CCTV saying to find her, to return everyone's baby photos. I will miss um, all the NHS kids and everybody else, and I hope that you all do well in your coming lives. I'm going to miss my GDC club, and that's the graphic design club that I stay after school for. Uh, twice a year. Aren't you going to ask me a question? Oh, what are you going to miss most about the class of 2013? I think that if there was, if there was one thing that I definitely would miss about the, uh, the class of 2013 would be uh, some of the, the kids, you know, that, that I've had, uh, you know, for like two or three years, you know, that, that have done exemplary work in my class. And uh, with regards to athletics, you know, I'm going to miss some of these kids that, that have actually uh, been with the program for like two or three years, you know, that have done excellent work as far as uh, uh, giving us the pride that we, that we need in athletics. Uh, class of 2013, actually I'm going to remember a lot about them because they've been in the school for three years, actually four years, I've been in it for three, so they kind of uh, had their high school years with me as principal, but more importantly is that uh, this class represents a great diversity as far as their talents go. We have a lot of artists who are great musicians, great dancers, uh, uh, great singers as they reflected in a rock and roll concert. We have great athletes that uh, we've walked away with some, uh, a championship your, your sophomore year here in football. But we've also done very well in track and field and a lot of other sports as well. And scholastically, uh, this past uh, half year, we had 40 kids who had a straight 4.0 averages in the school, and a great many of them were our seniors. So this is a really good rounded class. And the biggest thing is, are the personalities of the kids. I really enjoy students. That's why I got into this profession in the first place. And uh, the students, this class of seniors this year is a very special group. Oh